first of all, the key components, the throttle bodies themselves. Uh, here we have the two sides, primary and secondary. This being the primary, that being the secondary. Uh, the throttle linkage goes through the center, which is a good indicator, and obviously the two uh, head faces uh, mate in the middle. Also included in the box with the throttle bodies themselves is a, a small fitting kit. Uh, these include some push fit connectors for the brake servo vacuum, the fittings for the original fuel rail which is relocated onto the throttle bodies, uh, the yoke for the uh, throttle cable itself and the fixing screws to, uh, to mount that. Other pieces in the kit, uh, we've got the servo pipe extension which will then feed off to the original uh, brake servo pickup from what used to be the back of the inlet manifold. Then we've got the PTFE inlet gasket, the coil pack bracket and the engine mount support block. Okay, for those people needing the cable throttle conversion, uh, if your car is originally drive by wire, then the kit will include a replacement throttle cable, the pedal itself, and the mounting bracket, which is designed to fit uh, directly into position where the original drive by wire would have been, and also gives adjustment for heel and toe preference. Again, because we're concerned with a drive-by-wire conversion here for the purposes of this video, we've got the TPS uh, sensor which will go uh, on the secondary side of the throttle bodies and we've got an adapter cable which is a direct plug-in from the original throttle body to uh, adapt the TPS and uh, also on the left here we've got a full fitting kit which is everything you need to do the installation. Okay, moving on to the air filter side, we've got a complete sausage filter uh, manufactured by ITG with the four trumpets which will obviously be within the filter and the spacer uh, rings which uh, fit between uh, the filter and the trumpets in order to space them from the inlets themselves. Depending on which option you've gone for from the point of view of bonnet catches we've either got the standard set features on the left here which is a fairly typical uh, slide down uh, non-protected type or we've got the aero catch which is lockable and fits flush with the with the bonnet surface. We've also got the adapter plates which go uh, on the front panel after the slam panel has been removed after installation. Available for purchase separately is a synchrometer. If you don't already have one this is essential for setting up the balance of the bodies and setting the idle.